From Bundjalung Country, this is Sunday Mass with Bishop Greg Homing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. We come together to celebrate the extraordinary feast of Christmas, the feast which marks God's wonderful presence with us in person as a human being. And as we gather, let's acknowledge our unworthiness to stand before such an extraordinary gift, Jesus Christ, in the manger. Let's acknowledge our failings and ask the child Jesus to be so part of our lives that he may grow in us and that we may grow in him. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. Christ 
You are word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we are bathed in the new radiance of your incarnate word, the light of faith which illumines our eyes may also shine through in our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. This the Lord proclaims to the ends of the earth. Say to the daughter of Zion, Look, your Saviour comes. The prize of his victory with him, his trophies before him. They shall be called the holy people, the Lord's redeemed. And you shall be called the sought-after city not forsaken. The word of the Lord. Today is born our Saviour, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Saviour, Christ our Lord.
Second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. When the kindness and love of God our Saviour for mankind were revealed, it was not because he was concerned with any righteous actions we might have done ourselves. It was for no reason except his own compassion that he saved us by means of the cleansing water of rebirth and by renewing us with the Holy Spirit which he has so generously poured over us through Jesus Christ our Saviour. He did this so that we should be justified by his grace to become heirs looking forward to inheriting eternal life. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in a manger. All who had heard this were amazed by what had been told to them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for they all had heard and seen just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I can remember as a child watching movies, and very often in the movie, suddenly, things go into slow motion and you see every detail of what's happening in that point. And the reason that movies have slow motion is because it's part of the experience of life. Sometimes time just kind of stops or grinds to a halt. And every moment, every second of that time is a second that you can count. I think we've all experienced points of slow motion in our life. Today's Gospels are all in slow motion. What we have in this Gospel follows directly on from another Gospel in which Mary arrives in a manger, gives birth, and at that point the angels appear. And the angels tell the shepherds a child's been born, you must go and have a look. Immediately the angels withdraw and the shepherds go quickly and they find everything exactly as the angels had told them. 
What we have there is something which is in slow motion. We've got an event which is unfolds and we are invited into the experience of the moment. There's another point in the gospel where this happens. And of course, it's at the end of the story. When he's on the cross, it goes into slow motion. As he dies, we are there with him. But here, we're there at the beginning. And it's in slow motion because we're all asked to ponder, reflect, and be part of the event. So much of the thinking about Christmas is not about the event, but about the theology of what's happening, about the meaning of this for the future, all of which is important. But at this Christmas Mass, we're invited into an event which happens in slow motion. And it's happening in slow motion because every part, every person in the event has a slow motion experience. Mary and Joseph, the shepherds. We can't talk about Jesus' experience because he's a baby. The angels and of course God. Let's begin with this event from God's perspective. It's an event which the whole of creation, the whole of eternity has been leading up to. Because God created people, everything, with one desire, and that is that creation would freely choose to want God. That's what freedom's about. And God waits, longing for, wanting our response for hundreds and thousands of years waiting, waiting for this moment. And that's why from God's perspective, we can speak of it as, as slow motion because more a few thousand years comes together in one point. What's on the other side? the shepherds, Mary and Joseph, because they stand for you and me, because my heart longs for God. My heart calls out for the living God. My soul and my heart is empty, longing to be filled by God. That's the human desire, which has been there throughout human history. It's something that we all know this longing, this desire. And we go into slow motion because at this event when Jesus is born, that slow motion, which is me, is now beginning to be realized. The point is now when everything that I want, everything that I am is now happening at this moment. And it happens because my desire and God's desire meet in the event, in this point, when Jesus is born. Jesus, the Son of the Father, born of the Virgin Mary, who carries everything that it is to be human, all our desires, all our longings, and everything that it means to be God. All that God the Father wants comes together in this moment. And all the people in the gospel are there watching. They are part of it. The angels, Mary and Joseph, the shepherds, and God. This is what we celebrate today. Not simply an, an historic event, but a moment which gives meaning and purpose to every moment of my life. A moment which points to my future and your future. A moment which is divine and of God. This is what we celebrate this Christmas. And my prayer is that as every Christmas goes on, we will be more and more part of this. And let it happen in slow motion because it's not a Christmas card. It's about you and about me.
and let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Today, all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Through the Virgin Son, the Word made flesh, let us offer our Christmas petitions to God our Father. For the Holy Church of God, that we may joyfully proclaim God's presence among us through his incarnate Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peace of all peoples, that they may know the light which darkness can never overpower. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those separated from the ones they love at this time, that the child of Bethlehem may draw them into the consoling warmth of his family feast. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our families celebrating this joyful feast, as we welcome our Saviour, so we will see and welcome him in his poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are sick and bereaved may receive healing and acceptance through Christ and the intercession of St Mary of the Cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, that the peace and saving power of Christ will be granted to them, especially Egidio Conti, Michael Riley, James Riley, Trish Walker, Patrick Dowd, Francis Dowling, and Glenda Ryan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the grace and glory of his name, for our glory and May our offerings be worthy, we pray, O Lord, of the mysteries of the Nativity this day. The just as Christ was born a man and also shone forth as God, so these earthly gifts may confer on us what is divine through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our minds, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Teresa, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, great us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall.
and let us pray. Grant us, Lord, as we honour with joyful devotion the birth of your Son, that we may come to know with, with fullness of faith the hidden depths of this mystery and to love them ever more and more through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass descended, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.